Virgo, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Churn TV. All right, Virgo. This is a timeless reading. I uh, have spent the entire day meditating and uh, going into the deeper meaning of the universe and all that jazz and time means nothing. So this is a timeless reading. For everyone this week, it's gonna be a timeless reading. It's for you when you need it. And if this comes up in your feed in a year's time, that's when you need it. Guess you can't really watch it last week. <laughs> Sorry. That's, I'll, I'll shut up now. Anyway, Pogo. If the time means nothing, that would be crazy. Sorry, I'll shut up now. There you go. What do you need to know about love? And this time was reading for you. Bear in mind, loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. There are a lot of scum scummers. There are a lot of scammers around. And uh, they want your money. If they don't have any talent, they're just trying to scam you. So the only legitimate way of getting a reading from me, and probably most other tarot readers as well, legitimate tarot readers, is take a look in the description box below, link to my website. That's the only way you can get. You have to come to my website, gentvtarot.com. There's just a link down there if you can't be bothered to type it into Google. And uh, that's the only way. I will never come to you in any way. And I can pretty much guarantee any other proper real tower reader won't either. So I'm gonna read him from me or any of my pals. Go to our websites. Or, you know, however any other reader does it. I don't know. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm doing a different spread. It came out. It wants a different kind of spread. All right. Mm. Unusual. But all right. We'll go with it. Five card spread. So. The overall vibe is taking things real slow. This is the Knight of Pentacles. Like he's not charging in like other knights. He's taking it slow. He's walking slowly. He's got something to offer here. He's taking his time. Slowly. Okay. This is your feelings are that you're not really getting anywhere though with this. Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is like a lack of progress. You're not really getting anywhere. Taking it slow. It's not getting you what you want. This is what you need to know now is that you're not the Six of Wands in reverse. This is not a victory for you. You're not getting what you want. There's no progress. You're not getting what you want. The object of your desires definitely put their barriers up. They put their walls up for you now. And they're like... There's no kind of getting past that. So how do we do this? Take it slow, yeah, no progress, damn. So why is the Nine of Wands here for um, what you should do? This is kind of what you should do now. I sort of feel like barriers are up. Pay attention to them. Boundaries have been clearly set, so pay attention. If you pay attention, the outcome here is like, it's all gonna get a little bit easier if you just like, stop trying to cross somebody's boundaries. It's all gonna get a little bit easier. But why is the nine of wands here for what you should do? Yeah. 
yeah. All right. So pull back with the hermit. Learn from your experiences in the past. Nothing to do with this. Learn from your experiences in the past. Where have you messed up in the past? Where have your patterns just kind of kept rolling on? What have you just kept repeating in your life? Learn from it. Gain wisdom from it. We've got the fool. So, you know, the fool just, you know, wears their heart on their sleeve and they just keep throwing themselves in with delicious abandon to any situation. Heck, why not? Let's just go for it. That's just going to get your heart broken. So, if you're going to be the fool, look before you leap. Make sure that uh, there's no boundaries in the way because that's going to hurt. You're going to throw yourself against them battering yourself against these boundaries and you're never going to get in so learn from this respect the boundaries and things will get easier so let's take a look at the ten of wands here for the outcome why is the ten of wands here for the outcome this is a very simple reading okay this was a uh, very simple, this was a karmic lesson for you. This person, this person's this, very nine of pentacles, very beautiful, very independent, very, <sighs> fit, fit, so check her out, she's fit, she's one fit lady. This is very, very independent, very uh, abundant person, very in their power. And this is why their boundaries are very set and they're not gonna let anybody get past them because uh, they've learned from their mistakes. They've gone full hermit mode themselves and they've learned from their mistakes. This is a karmic lesson for you. This is sort of to teach you something about about yourself. Don't get confused. It's almost like this person's very clear what they do and they don't want. And for some reason you're finding that quite confusing. Why is the Two of Swords in reverse here? It's quite, I mean, the Two of Swords, is, it's about being overwhelmed as well. It's, it's like a, a, a feeling, a, a emotional overload. The Seven of Wands in reverse, that's about it. It's just, it's all just a little bit too overwhelming. This is a karmic connection that you, has been sent to you for you to learn from. If you respect the boundaries that this person has put up, then it'll be easier for you. With the Ten of Wands. Most karmic relationships are uh, kind of freaking horrible, but I don't think that this one is. This one's been sent to you to like pay attention to you and your patterns and your mistakes that you keep making in your life. If somebody sets a boundary, it's there to be respected, right? And maybe that's to try and teach you about your boundaries. And if you set a boundary with somebody, don't let them take the wee wee. You you mean your boundary when you set it. You set it and you set it hard. You mean it. Is taking it slowly going to win this person's heart? Yes or no? No. All three in reverse, so that's a no. This person isn't 
meant for you, but you are meant to learn something very valuable from this person. It's about respecting boundaries, I think, but it's also about respecting your own boundaries. In the past, have you let somebody just completely ride way over your life? Just wipe their boots on you, sharpen their teeth on you, everything, you know? Have you allowed someone to treat you like that? Maybe this person showing you their boundaries, which are very simple, it would seem. Because they're in their nine of pentacles. Very simple and very clear boundaries. Is that showing you what your boundaries need to be? This is what you need to be expecting in a relationship in the future. And even when you want something, if your boundaries aren't being respected, then it's not for you, right? If you really want this person, you're not gonna get this person. But I sort of feel like if you really want to be with somebody and they are pushing your boundaries, then they're not your person, right? So maybe that's what you need to learn from this. I am going to take it to the extent and ask about this person for you. Sorry, my light just went out. I'm going to ask about this person for you. How do they feel about you really, truly in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? But let's read some oracle cards now. Very simple reading. I feel like this is all about your boundaries. It's time to take action. It was in reverse. <laughs> it was in reverse. I, I, I don't tend to read these in reverse, but maybe it's time to stop taking action and, and respect boundaries here. One more. Meditate and contemplate. So, yeah. Think things through. Has this person said to you, I need some space, I need some time to think. That's them setting a boundary. And if they've said that, then give them that space to think. Don't send them a message. If they've said, I don't want to have a relationship with you right now, but I want to be friends. Then respect that. And don't try and be anything other than what they need. If you're seeing each other and they just want to date and they don't want to get intimate with you, then respect that and just date them and just, you know, get to know them. It's whatever this person's boundaries are, don't mess with them. It's no good for you because... I think that this is a lesson for you now to learn what boundaries are so that people don't mess with yours in the future. If you can't respect other people's, how can people respect yours, right? All right, so your love lyric for the day is... Two Steps Behind by Def Leppard. Whatever you do, I'll be two steps behind you Wherever you go, and I'll be there to remind you That it only takes a minute of your precious time To turn around, I'll be two steps behind Alright, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell And if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below There's a link to my Patreon, you'll find the video there Bye!